We uh, have people go into the hospital. We have them lay down for long periods of time. We say they're okay to go home when they walk 250 feet and they've been up for a half hour. And then they go home and we expect them to be up 14 hours a day. So essentially we've trained them for a sprint and we're asking them to run a marathon. And then we wonder why they fall or they can't get up to make themselves a meal and now are dehydrated and readmitted to the hospital. And so the goal is to really identify how we can break that cycle and really look towards eradicating what we like to call the immobility harm. If a patient were to miss a medication, we know that a harm event would be signaled by either a physician, a nurse, or a provider. We know if a patient fell that a harm event would be recorded. But if a patient didn't move for three days, would you know? And that's really a concern to us. And so part of our solution is identifying these at-risk patients and intervening and really making sure the signal or the communication of how much a patient has moved and that they, that is an important part of their care plan uh, is out there and communicated amongst the interdisciplinary team.